you were asked to write the polynomial with the roots 2, negative 3, and 1 over 4 as a review, because we cannot forget this, guys. I promise it will be on your EOC. So since these are each written once, that means they have a multiplicity of 1. So that means x is going to equal 2, x is going to equal a negative 3, and x equals 1 fourth. And that means that graph is going to touch the x-axis at positive 2, negative 3, and 1 fourth. To write the polynomial in standard form, so not in factored form, uh, we need to start with factors, and then we're going to multiply them together. So instead of having the zero here, or the root, or the solution, we are going to get it in factor form. So we're going to move the two over, and that's that inverse of x minus two, and would be set equal to zero, if you remember that from quadratics. Again, we're going to move the negative three over by adding it to both sides. So we get it set equal to zero, so x plus three. And now we, this one's a little different, and it just depends on which way makes more sense to you. So that 4 is in the denominator. And the way we've learned to get rid of things in the denominator is to do the opposite. So instead of divide by 4, we're going to multiply by 4. So 4x equals 1. Because, again, our factors cannot have fractions. Our factors are not fractions. A lot of you do that on the quiz, no matter what. But you cannot have fractions as your factor. So we still need to keep going, so we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So that's going to be 4x minus 1, and now it equals 0. Now, in factored form, which is not the way they're ever really going to ask you to write the polynomial, these are our list of factors. To finish writing the polynomial, we're going to have to multiply these together. You can do it by FOIL, you can do it by box method, whichever way. Distributive property, whatever makes sense to you from the past that you like best. I'm going to take my first two, and I'll do FOIL for the first one, so first, first. It's going to give me x squared. Outer, outer is going to give me 3x. Inner, inner is negative 2x. Last, last is going to be a negative 6. Now I'm going to clean that up, and I end up with x squared plus x minus 6. So I've taken care of, those of you who have been coming to live class, I took care of that one, I took care of that one. And quite obviously, I know I have the 4x minus 1 left. This time, I am going to do it. A box method. So 4x minus 1 with x squared, positive x, and then that negative 6. And so we're going to multiply that into our box. So 4x times x squared is going to give us 4x cubed because there's an imaginary 1 in front of these as well. So that's 4x to the third power because 2 and 1 is 3. Go down, so 1 times a negative 1 is a negative 1x squared, because they're still x squared. 4x times x is 4x squared. x times a negative 1 is a negative 1x. Negative 6 times 4 is getting negative 24x, because there's that x there. And then negative 6 times 1 is a positive 6. From here, we're going to clean up. Make sure that these match up. Don't just assume they do. Because depending if everyone showed up to the party and it wants like so two, one, none, is whether or not these are going to be three, two, one, none. And sometimes they'll mix up depending on where you are in this multiplication. So don't assume. So 4x cubed, standard form, we want our highest exponent first. If I have 4x squared and a negative 1x squared, that means I have 3x squared. Negative 1 and negative 24 is a negative 25x. And then last but not least, plus 6. So this is the polynomial that has roots at 2, negative 3, and 1 fourth. All right, guys, great job.